22 to hit. Oh, that hits. I, I think I hit your armor class, yeah. Uh, all right, so you, as it bites into you, you take... Let me get all the D10s here. All, all Don't want to look. Tens across the board. All right. Ooh. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> you take 43 points of piercing damage. Plus. Plus. Nine points of fire damage. As cold as it looks on the exterior. There is a burning heat from inside its mouth and body, and immediately, just having its open mouth clamp onto you, it's singeing you by proximity. You are also grappled. What? And while you're grappled, you are restrained. You guys watch as Jester is bit by it, and it lifts its head up, and Jester is now her legs peeking and kicking out of its mouth, like Audrey at the end of Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> It rears up, and her feet are about 10 feet above you. That ends its turn. Jester, your turn. Oh, no! I also need you to make a constitution saving throw for concentration, please. Save the unicorns. Save the world. You got it. All right, Caleb. Uh, Caleb uh, starts, uh, he had an idea, but he just starts rapidly going through the spells. He knows this, no, this, no, this, no, this, no. He sees his dear little blue friend looking rough and pulls out a cocoon and uh, casts Polymorph and turns her into a, a mammoth. <laughs> Sending you the stats. And I'm backing the hell away from this monstrosity. This way. All right. Um, I didn't bring my mammoth mini, because I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so we'll just use the wolf for it, considered a bit larger. Uh, you watch as uh, the jaws suddenly distend and snap almost, as <laughs> Jester's body begins to swell and grow brown fur. The armor seems to protrude and expand until it becomes this extremely deep brown furry just a hunk of flesh and muscle before it spits her out instinctually. <laughs> Knocking this tree over into the other one. It's like a, 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 about an eight to 10 foot from side to side, and a lot of it is kind of fallen in beneath it, but there is a little bit of an opening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and look, and I'm gonna spot its baby. I'll say that there's the hole that it left right there. I'm gonna okay. rage towards, try to charge the baby. All right, uh, you rush <laughs> over Caduceus. How far away was it from me? Uh, it's about 25 feet or so, I'd say. I'm gonna walk for, okay, I'm gonna walk, oh, at least 20 feet. Okay, I'm gonna run forward and use a trampling charge on it. I'm gonna it. say, this tree is toast. <laughs> As you slam towards it, Caduceus, you almost get pushed Whoa. off to the side, having to catch yourself on the edge it of the snowbank. It has to succeed on a strength check of 18. Okay. That is an, it has a good strength, but not enough on a natural three. It's a seven. That's a failure, I'm pretty sure. So it's knocked prone, and I get to make a bonus stomp action on it. Whoa. There you go. So roll your damage on it for the impact. Well, that's a 23 to hit on 23 it. 23 to hit. That does hit. So, whoa. <laughs> that's 4d10 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> that's just my bonus action. Fuck it up. <laughs> that's 30 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> And then I'm gonna gore it with my. All right, well done. Oh, that's 28 to hit. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, that was 40 done plus seven. I didn't add the seven. Okay. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and then the gore attack. That's cocked. 10, 15. 
that's uh, 15 plus 7, that's 20, what, 22 sure. points of right. goring tusk damage. You take eight points of fire damage. Fuck it, I'm a mammoth, I don't care. 